Hello my dear friends, thank you very much for clicking ABC English. Friends, today we will discuss the usage of because and because of. My dear friends, these two words sometimes disturbs us a lot because we make different types of mistakes in our curriculums or in any competitive exam. My dear friends, we have to know the difference between these two words and obviously we have to know the part of speech and how do these words used in sentences. Friends, if you watch this video entirely, I think there will be no such problem regarding these two words. My dear friends, first of all, I should say because and here in this side because of. My dear friends, both of these words, it's a compound word and this is just a word, a simple word. My dear friends, this word is used to show reason and because of, it is also used to show reasons. That means if you think about these two words, if you think about the meaning of these two words, the meaning is same that means there is no such difference in meaning but my dear friends these two things are very much contradictory so first of all we should think about the part of speech of this word my dear friends this is basically a subordinating conjunction this is the most important thing this is used in the sentences as subordinating conjunction and because of it is used as preposition. This is the most vital thing. We should know this. Because of is a preposition and because is a subordinating conjunction. So my dear friends, as it is subordinating conjunction, it means if we write down anywhere, if we write down because, after that, obviously we have to write down a subject and also a finite verb. And after that, if there is any object or any other word according to the sentence, that means the most important thing is after because we have to use subject plus verb combination. This is the most important thing. That means this part will become a subordinating clause. It will become a subordinating clause. So my dear friends, as it is a subordinating clause, obviously with it we have to use one principal clause at least one principal clause so these because will act as subordinating conjunction and this will be the principal clause so the entire sentence will be a complex sentence my dear friends i think you can understand the structure now friends, think about this part. Here it is because of. As you know my dear friends, because of is a preposition. So obviously after that we have to use one noun or pronoun. And this noun or pronoun, it will be the object of this preposition. My dear friends, you know, after transitive verb, and after preposition, always we have to use 
at least one object and this object will be the object of this preposition in case of transitive verb this object will be the object of transitive verb and object always it will be a noun or pronoun the noun or pronoun may be a simple word may be a compound word may be a phrase or even a clause friends this is the most important usage so preposition plus this noun it will become a phrase there will be more than one word so it will be a phrase and it will be called a prepositional phrase prepositional phrase my dear friends prepositional phrase act as adjective or adverb it means if this prepositional phrase modify a noun at that time it will be called adjective and if this prepositional phrase modify a verb or an adjective or any other adverb in the sentence at that time it will be called an adverb and as it is used to show reason so obviously it will be adverb that means this prepositional phrase will act as adverb in the sentence friends i think you can understand the structure so my dear friends in this structure we will get subject then verb then prepositional phrase prepositional phrase my dear friends so there will be one subject and one finite verb so obviously it will be a simple sentence it will be a simple sentence my dear friends i think you can understand the usage now let's look at the example i am going to show you one example let's look at this friends uh, i am writing down two sentences as you know it is a complex sentence so obviously there will be two parts suppose the first part is i was ill the first part is i was ill this is the first one and the second one is i could not i could not attend attend the class friends you can see here you can see i was ill so this is the reason and i could not attend the class this is the fact and why why could i not attend the class the reason is i was ill friends i think you can understand the situation now we can use we can combine these two sentences into one complex sentence by using because this is it's very simple friends you can see here i could not i could not attend the class because i was ill my dear friends it's a correct sentence friends here in this place in because in this place we can use since we can use as both these conjunctions are also used in this situation but to show strong reason we always should use because it is preferable that means whenever because is used it shows strong reason 
My dear friends, I think you can understand this usage. Now let's look at this part. We will use we'll use the same we'll use the same sentences. I was ill. I was ill. I could not attend the class. My dear friends, we can start it with the preposition because of friends this is preposition so i was ill here the subject is i and ill that is actually adjective that is adjective and my dear friends this adjective is the description of the subject i and you know after because of we cannot write down adjective we have to write down noun because we have to make its object and object may be noun or pronoun so we cannot write down adjective rather we will choose the noun form of ill here because of as this is the subject we will make it possessive adjective my illness from ill it became illness this is noun and this is the determiner of this noun and because of is a preposition that means i provided its object so because of my illness then put down a comma i could not i could not attend the class Friends, I could not attend the class. This is the principal clause. This is the principal clause. And this part is the extension of this principal clause. This, this part is not a subordinating clause because there is only preposition and a noun. That means it's a prepositional phrase. And it is the answer of this question. That means why could not I attend the class that means if i ask the verb by why the answer will be this part that means it is showing the reason so obviously this part is an adverb this prepositional phrase is acting as adverb in the sentence so friends in this sentence there is subject plus could is the Fine it verb here. Not is just negation and attend is the main verb. Attend is as we have used could. Attend is the main verb. Could is actually modal. And this is the after modal we have to use the base form. So obviously this is the principal clause. This part is the principal clause. And this is the adverb of this verb so obviously my dear friends in this part there is one subject and one finite verb it means the entire part entire sentence is a simple sentence entire sentence is a simple sentence my dear friends i think you can understand the usage friends if you like this information if you um, like this video i'd like to request you to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned i will post these types of very informative videos for you regularly so my dear friends thank you very much for watching this video thank you